time trial time at the Tour of Luxembourg. And something of an oddity for this race, which is usually decided by just a handful of seconds, a long time trial of 25.4 kilometres, well, long for this race anyway. A sporting course with some rises and falls may well be that some surprises will be thrown up by non-time trial specialists. Mark Hershey hoping that that would be the case for him. Harry Sweeney came home just to edge Tiberi's time at the line. In fact, uh, Sweeney's intermediate looked unbreakable for a while. But then Shelmos, the Dane, decided to impose himself. So much so he was finding two minute men out on course and really the timing sheets belong to him. A remarkable margin. Well, some remarkable moments as well for Bokka Mollema, getting himself out of shape. Indeed, a dramatic crash, which remarkably he picked himself up from very, very quickly. Not much damage, thank heaven, despite the drama. Well, a warning to everybody out there, but Catania was powering through the course and indeed bossing it when it came to the intermediate split. He absolutely owned it. What about the remainder of the course, however? And what about this man? Xiao Almeida, well, starting off at the top of the day, as favourite not only to take the stage, but to take control of the race as well. Led, of course, by a margin of only four seconds, by Mark Hershey, who was last off the ramp. Well, the chance of Mark Hershey catching Almeida out there, very, very slim. And when you saw what Catania was doing out on course, look at Shelmo's time and look at Catania's. Absolutely remarkable. Benchmark at the split and at the line. David de la Cruz was keeping everyone honest. It's starting to think about a podium place, you can be sure of that. And a strong performance as well from Pierre Latour, who spent much of his career looking after others in the high ground and now is back to time trialling, which is something he did very well as a youngster. He wrestled the course and produced a top five finish on the day. Third at this point. And that's because Almeida was still out there and eating into gaps. Not into Catania's time, however. At the split, there was a margin between them of 8.6 seconds. But how close would Hershey be to Almeida, the man who was about to take Yellow off his back? Well, the answer was about 18 seconds at this point, even further down on Catania's time. De La Cruz coming to the line. 48.4 kilometres per hour, the average for the run. I'm well, thinking about an overall podium, I'm certain. Catania, though, not celebrating yet. The reason was that Almeida was still out on course and in attacking mode. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it was very, very close. Almeida just missing out. Catania taking a famous win. Almeida having won the opening stage and now in the lead of the race. Well, the gap was already a big one to Mark Hershey at the split. How bad would it be at the finish line? Hershey tumbling away, I'm afraid, out of yellow. A respectable time trial for a man who is not a specialist. Hershey finishing in sixth place, ahead of Jack Bauer, Sweeney, Tiberi and Vincenzo Nibali, who produced a stunner. Catania takes it, smiles breaking out for him, and Almeida takes the lead of the race. One stage to go, and Xiao Almeida it is that leads by 43 seconds for Mark Hershey. Catania up into third place and De La Cruz in fourth. La Tour rounding out your top five. All positions to be decided on the final day in Luxembourg.